what is up fam welcome back to Lisa Jones Tarot this reading here is for my Libra zodiac sign for the month of June 2021 we are going to dive right in we're going to pull six cards here of the overall energy to see what's happening with you and then we'll clarify with the modern witch deck so see here clarify the energy of Libra for the month of June 2021 what's going on with Libra for the month of June 2021 we have one already throat chakra coming out clarify the energy of Libra thank you Number five, change your focus. Clarify the energy of Libra for the month of June 2021, please. Clarify the energy of Libra for the month of June 2021. We have number three, um, uh, the Nurture card, which is the Empress. Guys, if you need to, feel free to skip ahead. I'm going to lay out the entire spread real quick. Three more cards, please. Clarify the energy of Libra. Number one, clear clarity of belief. Okay. Number four, Heart Chakra. One more, please, for Libra for the month of June. Thank you. And number two, spread your wings. What's at the bottom? Ooh, the magician manifest card here. All right, so you're about to manifest something. Something's something's happening here. There's some type of change that's coming. A lot of uh, a lot of zodiac signs have been getting the number five, which is all about a transformation or a transition here. So um, you're definitely about to go through that. So guys, just remember this is a general reading, so this may not resonate. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can cross. And if you need to, please flip them. So we're going to start off with the throat chakra here and see what this is for the month of June. All right. Okay. Clarify the throat chakra for Libra. Ooh, beautiful. The hang one. Okay. Bottom of the deck is five of pentacles here. Okay. So there's a situation that you've been. Oh, yeah. Yep. Five of pentacles, page of wands, and three of swords here at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Five of pentacles is about let, leaving someone out in the cold or someone leaving you out in the cold here or coming out of the cold. Page of Wands is about good news coming in financially. And then Three of Swords is about some type of heartbreak or some type of hard time. Uh, so let's see. Number five, Throat Shock of the Hang One. So this here, you've been looking at a situation differently before you've spoken about it, right? Before you've made any type of conversation or any type of move or any type of like uh, step forward here. You've been really thinking about it before you've been speaking about it, right? So you could have been... Um, this is like watching somebody's, um, watching a situation from a different perspective, right? Like seeing the different moves that other people make, um, seeing the different moves or different things that other people are saying. Like you've been really thinking, whatever this is you, you need to say, you've been really thinking about it. Like you've been holding back and you haven't been saying anything, but you need to voice yourself. Okay. You need to voice what it is that you need to say that you've been holding in that you've been thinking about and just didn't want to say. I don't know if it's because you don't want to feel bad. Like you don't want to. I don't know if it's maybe a job or maybe a situation where it could like affect your money. We'll clarify. Let's get one more because I want to see what this is. Clarify the hang one with the throat chakra please for Libra. Clarify the hang one. Yeah, okay. Could definitely be a job <laughs> with that five of pentacles being there. Because then we have the death card, right? Some type of ending coming in. So I feel like you've been looking at things differently. Okay, I don't know if you want to quit. I don't know if you want to leave a job or you just want to be like, hey, look, I found something else that I'm interested in. I no longer want to be here. But that's the, that's the energy I'm getting. Like you've been looking at different ways how to end the situation here. And it's more of like getting on your own ish here, right? With the queen of wands. The queen of wands is very... Uh, fiery very passionate okay has a drive about her that is unexplainable all right so the queen of wands is like very business minded very business driven and then we have the five of wands and the king of swords so you could be like in a hostile work environment okay with a boss that could be getting on your nerves that that could be like causing conflict with you here and that's why you're kind of ready to end this thing and kind of like start your own thing here um I feel like you've been patient with this here, whatever this is. Like you've been really, you've been truly holding back because you've been, it's like you've been planning things without really saying things. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. Let's clarify this change your focus here for Libra. Clarify change your focus. Yeah, see, you're moving on here. Transition. Transition, yeah. Change your focus in the Six of Swords. This is about clarity. Okay, knowing I'm no longer being in this hostility, I'm no longer being in this this uh, confusion, this all of this energy of oh my gosh, what's going on? What the heck is happening? Right, I'm moving into clarity, into clarity, and I'm saying I'm going after something that I truly love, that I truly adore, that I love going to, 
Okay, whether it's a job change or just investing in yourself, right? You may be in a work environment where you're doing all this work. It's super hectic. Your boss is down your back and you're like, oh my God, when is this going to end? And you're saying, you know what? Instead of me putting in this energy for this company, I'm about to go out and start my own company and invest back into myself, you know, or you've been working at this job and it's just been hostility and arguments and, and, and craziness. And you're like, you know what? Instead of me being here, I'm going to move over to here to this job because it's more calm and more chill, right? Yeah, Eight of Cups, walking away, and then Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning here. So you're walking away from one and going into something that's been given to you from the universe, right? It's going to be an opportunity that just opens up and you're like, oh, wow, this is perfect. Now let's clarify the Empress energy. Again, this is the second time the Empress has showed up. Clarify Nurture, number three. See, investing in yourself. Whatever this is, you're going to have enough money to save, enough money to spend, and enough money to give if you want to, right? Whatever this opportunity is, the more you invest in yourself, you're going to feel more independent. You're going to feel um, like you can really conquer the world here, okay? Like, you're <laughs> six of wands, success, victory, okay? Like, people are going to be like, wow, you know, Libra really did that. They did that, you know what I'm saying? Now let's clarify, clarify the clarity of belief here for Libra. This is the number one card. Clarity of belief here for Libra, please. Thank you. Yeah, you've been resting on this. You've been thinking on this. You've been meditating on this here. You've been like, what, what is it that I need to do? Okay, I've been thinking about it. I, I don't like this. I, I'm, I just, I can't do this anymore. You know, you've been out there. You could have been job searching, right? Job searching and been like, oh my gosh, I don't, you know, I don't know what to do. I can't handle this anymore. Once this job comes up, I'm gone, right? You've been waiting on this opportunity to come in, and it's coming. Yet now you know exactly what you want to do. If you look at this card, there's a butterfly. The butterfly is free, okay? It's flying free from his hand. This is all about a transformation, right? Leaving his hand because he knows exactly where he wants to go, who he, where he wants to be at, you know? And it's like, I only live once. You know, if, if you know the stages of a butterfly, they, it's three different stages. They go from caterpillar cocoon and the butterfly and the butterfly stage doesn't last very long they don't live very long once they become the butterflies and so this freedom about them flying around enjoying themselves is all about living their best life right and that's what you're doing here okay see the moon card the moon card the five of swords and the nine of swords whatever this is it's been stressing you the hell out and you haven't you haven't really been showing it you hadn't really been showing it like whatever it is it's like if it's a relationship, it could be you leaving a relationship. I feel more of like a job, though. I feel more of like you've been working somewhere and you're just not happy. And you're just ready to get the heck out of there. Now, let's clarify the heart chakra here for Libra. Let's clarify the heart chakra for Libra for the month of June 2021. Thank you. Yeah, you know exactly what you need to do. Mm, see, there you are waiting for that, that opportunity to come in. You've had opportunities in front of you, but it, it hasn't really called to you. It hasn't really... Um, gotten your attention but you're going to have this one opportunity from the universe that comes in at the right exact time that it's meant to okay if you look on the shirt it says over it right and you're going to say you know what i'm done that's it i'm done see you're putting your your intellect over your heart okay you're saying okay yes i love this job yes i love being here or yes i love this person you know if it's a relationship yes i love being with this person but intellectually mentally I can't do this anymore, right? You're saying, let me let me put my heart on pause, you know, pause for a minute. What is best for me? Where do I need to be? What do I need to do, right? You know clearly what you need. And so you could be cutting away this king of swords, you know. It, again, butterflies are showing up. Transformation. You may be seeing all kind of butterflies, all right? Transformation. You know exactly what you need. Now, this doesn't have to be like butterflies outdoors. You could be seeing like butterflies on shirts, on the back of cars. You could be seeing them like um, logos and signs, you know, and you're just like, what? Okay, I've seen like 12 butterflies today. What the heck is going on? It's some type of transformation that you're going through. Now, let's clarify number two, spread your wings. For Libra, clarify number two, spread your wings. So, we have ten of swords coming out. One more flipped over. I could have thought. I thought it flipped over. I heard it when it flipped. Maybe it didn't flip over. Maybe it did a 360. <laughs> I thought one flipped over, but I guess not. Okay. So this Ten of Swords here. In this modern witch deck, there's two, uh, two of these. Okay. This one here says everything is fine. 
It's the Ten of Swords. Everything is fine. Look, see? So, this is just telling you, take this leap, this Two of Swords. You have an opportunity to take this leap and be free. And again, spread your wings and enjoy your best life. Do whatever it is. You only live once, you know? And the hard times and the difficulties, it's it's done. It's over. Don't don't put up with it. I know it. it's been so stressful. It's been so tiring. It's been so hard to deal with this. But it's time for you to choose something else. Why keep putting up with this pain, whether it's in a relationship, right? You've been putting up with difficulties in this relationship, putting up with being hurt, putting up with not being able to voice yourself or not being able to love the way that you deserve to love or be loved the way that you deserve to be loved, right? If it's a job, you're no longer happy there. It's time for you to leave. Time for you to spread your wings. The two, the this two spread your wings here. It's like, it's kind of like the stalemate energy because you've been stuck. You've been not knowing what really to do like the two of swords. But it's also like the two of wands. It's time. Look at that beautiful power that's above you. It's time for you to move on here. And it's, it's okay. Right? The manifest card here. And then shine. And just breathe. So you've been manifesting this. This is your opportunity to go out and do whatever it is you want. Look, six of pentacles, bottom of the deck. Equal give and take. Equal give and take. You've been doing the research. You've been thinking about it. But you're about to hit them with that, that news of, hey, you know what? I've been really thinking I need to move on from here. I need equal give and take. You know, if I'm putting in hard work at this job and I'm not getting back the praise or the, the money that I deserve, I no longer need to be here. If I'm in this relationship and I'm doing everything, being faithful, being trustworthy, bending over backwards for you, you're not giving me the same energy. It's time for me to move on. Right? So let's see. What other messages do we have for Libra? So a heck of a reading here, Libra. But I definitely see forward movement here for the month of June. So that's beautiful. That clarity that you're having here. That independence you're about to have. Clear for the energy of Libra, please. For the month of June 2021. What do you have for Libra for the month of June 2021? Hmm. The Phoenix. Clarify the energy of Libra for the month of June 2021. What do you have for Libra for the month of June 2021? And one more, please. What is it that they need to know? Thank you. All right. What's at the bottom? Beware. Be careful who you trust at this time. So be cautious of who you tell who you're talking to okay we also have phoenix be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis see it's like you, you may leave this job and you may not have an opportunity and you're just like i can't take this anymore i'm done right and you feel like everything is chaotic right but something's coming in for you like it's it's or you taking that leap and you opening your own business and you're like oh my gosh this is crazy i can't believe that but guess what you're gonna rise again we have luck you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. And then love. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. You may feel like you don't have love going on. For some of you, you got um, family members that are showing you love, that are showing you support. But others of you, it's your ancestors and your angels holding you, guiding you, and letting you know that they're there and that they love you and adore you. And that anything that you need, you can ask them. Always remember that anything you need, you can ask your ancestors and your angels. And they are there. Clarify the last messages for Libra, please. Clarify the last messages for Libra. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Okay. All right. Hold on, guys, because I dropped one. Give me one moment. Okay. All right. So we have Gaia. Connect to the pulse of Mother Earth. She will guide you through this time of change. We also have ascension. Your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. And patience. Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. Beautiful. So this is your reading, Libra. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. Guys, I appreciate you so much for watching. And we'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.